<sighs> Son, what was this doing in my basement? Hey, Eric, this is where you- where- Eric, where have you been? Oh, funny story, after the squid kicked me out of the submarine base, uh, I ended up getting kidnapped by two of his squid friends. They ended up taking me to, uh, this area that was, like, this secret place. And there, yeah, they fed me the most delicious soup. It was so good, I started crying because of it. But eventually, I got bored and walked out. They sounded kind of mad when I left. I guess I should have left them a warning. For some reason, I, they were talking about something like an executioner or something. I don't know. So anyway, after I left, I went on a bit of a soul search for a while and ended up, tra and I ended up trapped in Tibet for a few days. And then I got abducted by the abominable snowman for a f while after that, but then he tossed me all the way back here, and then I ended up walking around a bit until I ended up in your dad's basement where I started messing around with a bunch of his stuff, and uh, that's how I ended up here. I caught him sniffing my secret chemicals! It kind of tickled to be honest. <sighs> Thanks dad, I'll make sure this doesn't happen again. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Toxic Terror. As always, I'm your host, Mr. G. But today, we're talking about the real sea serpents. A sea snakes. Before we get in, I just want to say, uh, I hope you all had a ma I hope you all had a good whatever holiday you celebrate. I'm sorry I didn't make a holiday special. I, uh, I'm kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's. I do Halloween specials, but not, uh, holiday specials. You get what I mean? Yeah. So... Yeah, sorry I didn't do any sort of holiday special, but, you know... Okay, I'm stalling, let's get into this. Appearance why sea snakes are... Aquatic snakes. Look, I'm gonna be honest, snakes are not the most visually interesting animals. Look, don't blame me, blame nature, okay? Thank you. Anyway, as their name indicates, sea snakes are marine animals, spending all day swimming. Now, before we continue, I think we should need to differentiate between sea snakes and sea crates. Sea crates are a kind of sea snake that are in a genus of the part of the family that sea snakes are a part of. But sea crates are different from other sea snakes for a few reasons. For one, basically every other sea snake is fully aquatic and cannot leave the water, but sea crates are actually amphibious and actually can crawl on land. Secondly, most sea snakes give birth to live young, except for sea crates which lay eggs. So yeah. As you can probably tell by the fact that this is toxic terrors and the fact that strangling a fish seems impossible, sea snakes are, uh, venomous. They have some of the fastest acting venom of all snakes, capable of killing their prey in just a matter of seconds. Now, sea snakes have a wide variety of diets. Uh, some sea snakes are your typical hunters, but others are more specialized, only hunting very specific species. And some species of sea snakes are, are caviar eaters. Well, okay, not caviar since there's no sturgeons where they live, but they eat fish eggs. So, you know what? Close enough. So, yeah, that's sea snakes. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's look at the cards. Okay, as you can see, they gave both sea snakes and sea crates their own card. I can understand why, but... Yeah, that's, I can understand why. I don't really have anything to add to that. Something funny I noticed is that literally both the sea snake and sea crate cards show a story of them eating an eel. Like, were they really that running out of ideas they had to recycle the same story twice? And to be honest, I can't really find anything wrong with either of these cards, so yeah. Now as for humans, as I said earlier, sea snakes are very venomous. Despite that though, there's not many reported deaths caused by them, and they make up a very small percentage of, uh, snake bite deaths. Although, sea snake bites are actually very common, but due to anti-venom and the fact that sea snakes actually only rarely inject venom into things that aren't prey, most of those bites aren't fatal, so yeah. Most sea snake venom ends up causing paralysis or muscle deterioration, so don't get bitten by them. Now in captivity, sea snakes are pretty rare, and some species are impossible due to their dietary things. So yeah, there are, there are aquariums that have sea snakes, but they're pretty uncommon in most aquariums. So yeah. Well, that's all for this episode of Toxic Terrors. Next time I'm switching over to... Actually, I haven't decided yet. I'll get back to you on that. Bye! Hey guys, look, I swiped the old man's laptop. You did what?!